funny how the story always seems to start on the most fucked up day of your life. Well, I guess I better fill you guys in on what's gone down so far. My name's Clive and I'm the guy on the right. The guy on the left is my best mate Mo. Hi. Who are you talking to? Them. Who's them? Them, them. What? Can't you see me winking? How the fuck am I supposed to see you wink, dude? We're on. Oh, fuck, already? How's my hair look? Pretty good, man. Right on. Uh, fist bump? Fist bump. <laughs> Head bump instead, but softly. Head bump. But softly. So we kind of know how to fuck up. Up until about four years ago, we used to work for this guy. Nico. Hey guys, like you off this street. With no hope, no future. I give you work. Put a roof over your head. Those who steal from. Or get caught by the cops after you dealt with. You know the rules. I have to set an exam. He may not look like much. But he can be one nasty motherfucker. The turn of the 21st century has seen a push for decriminalization of low grade drugs like cannabis, as well as a growing social acceptance in Western societies. But governments haven't really budged, and that's the way Nico likes it. There's no tax in the drug market, and running the monopoly in Streamwood means he can charge whatever he wants. No one knows exactly how he started or where he's from, but my dad used to talk about him a lot. They were best mates and they took over the drug market together about 30 years ago by brutally slaughtering every other dealer, grower and trafficker in Streamwood. And he's now the kingpin of an empire that is an incredibly well-oiled machine. He has packers, dealers, traffickers, fuck, he even employs scientists. He intimidates, he punishes, and he never forgives. If I could give you one piece of advice about Nico, it's to stay the fuck away from Nico. I didn't, I didn't put that in there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put that in there. Please, please. He has the city's weed market by the balls. He owns every dealer, he owns every grower. If you've smoked a joint, pulled a cone, ate a magic muffin, consumed any CBD oil or sucked any vapour in the last three decades, there's a 420% chance it came from this coke-addicted psychopath in a bright suit with a gun and three ruthless goons. This is me, or was me, about four years ago. And I'm not gonna lie, I fucking love life. I fucking love life! Woohoohoo! It was simple. Nico pays the Italians to grow for us. I go over every second Tuesday and pick up enough for Nico's dealers for the next fortnight. We didn't need to go to the farm to pick it up. The Italians were quite prepared to bring it to us. But Nico always insisted I keep an eye on things. Also, I didn't really want them knowing where I live. Dude, Paul, could you lift the roof up? <laughs> Fuck no! Put it under the seat. The amounts we were selling were getting so big, I was running out of space to put all the bags. Peace out, motherfuckers. I'd then drive it back across Streamwood and bring it home, where Mo and I would weigh it and bag it all up to be distributed amongst the dealers. And that was the system in a nutshell. Hey Clive, 
Hi. How you doing, Sasha? Okay, good. Um, so I was thinking that uh, I've known you for a while now, and you know, I was thinking maybe one one of these nights. Uh, maybe... Sasha, listen. You can't really come to my house to try and buy weed here, right? Okay. Now, I've got important people inside, yeah. and Mo's probably already trying to get investment with one of his dumb ideas. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna go, but what day is it? It's Tuesday. Alright, I'll see you on the party at, on Wednesday. Okay. Bye. Hey, hey, Mate, just think about it. Injectable cannabis. Oh, it's an untapped market. That could actually be the stupidest idea you've ever had. Nah, fuck you, mate. You don't know what you're on about. Too much coke. How you doing, boys? Good to see you, man. Clive, hey, babe. Good, mate. How are you? Pretty good. Mo talking about his injectable cannabis again. Mate, he doesn't stop. Dude, stupid idea. Weed is supposed to be partaken, not injected. Exactly. Mate, when do you reckon we'll get the chance to meet Nico? I share some of that love. Oh, man, you don't want none of that love, trust me. It's like rough, hard love. Wait, I picked up 50 pounds from the Italians. Drink. <laughs> Do you reckon you can just finish unloading out of the car, dude? Yeah, sure. I'll see you in a second, bro. Nico! Yeah, I'll make the deposit in the morning. All 120. Four hundred twenty dollars, even not a dollar less. Don't fucking do. That was just a small town kid. Big city dreams, MJ. I'm a wasp. It's always in my reach. Want to find a way, never want to find excuses. Fed up with myself. Hey, Clive. Brittany. Brittany's friend. Is something wrong? Oh no, it's just like business. Stuff. Then come out with us tonight. We'll help you blow off some steam. Hey, dude, I could only find 49 bags. I'll tell you what, don't even worry about it, man. I'll just I'll look for the other one later. I'm gonna hang out over here for a while. It's like, maybe we can go to this new nightclub. My friend's just opened it, right? Clive, baby, I got a bottle for you, for my best brother. Shit over there, man, I don't need any more. Oh, what do you think of this private booth? Yeah, man, club's sick, booth's sick, chicks are hot as fuck. It's cool, man, but like, seriously? You don't have to do this stuff for us anymore, man. We can oh, pair them away. Hey, you're VIP. Right? I wanted to. You deserve to be treated like VIP. Vinny, Vinny. Shh, shh. I know. I'm fucking VIP as fuck. It's cool, dude, but like, seriously, you don't have to do this hey, stuff. Quite, quite. So I, I really, really want to meet Nick. I think it's about time, right? Dude, this is what I mean. Like, when I joke around and say I don't trust you, you get us all fucked up, and then you want to try to talk business, man. That's, that's not how you do it. I know you got your little fucking setup, whatever you got going on here, right? What I'm doing is on a whole nother level, man. And just, I don't want you in it because you don't understand. We used to be partners. What, and you're now just saying that you're above me? You know we have history, dude. But I don't work for you anymore. And I never want to fucking work for you ever again. Even if you had a gun to my head. Um, enjoy your club and enjoy your night and whatever. Have fun, dude. Come on, girls, just get the fuck out of here. What's your deal, Van Dyke? 
What do you mean, Webb? You know what I mean. Pretty little blonde girl, fresh in the force. Could have had anything she wanted. Been anything she wanted. But she chose to be a cop. And? Makes no sense. Well, maybe some of us just want to make a difference. You know, help create a change. Do the right thing. I can't wait to be done with this shit. Pretty soon, I'm going to get me my promotion. I'm going to become a detective and do some real police work. Get the fuck out of this patrol car. Good luck. I don't need any luck. Been sucking dick for way too long. It's well and truly overdue. Place negative 29. Current 2000 Honda out of Gardena on 145. You really are too pretty to be a cop. <laughs> no offense, but uh, sucking dicks isn't my thing. What the fuck ever? Are we going to go after them? Ah! Dispatch, this is Unit 87. We are in pursuit of a speeding white convertible heading southbound down Fitz Road. You fucking bitch. On late activity, do all day stuff right there. I ain't in the plan. Slow down, cuz life's just one long day. I'm together, I'm performing like a campfire. Papa Yan running from the sun like man. By self, I didn't take a picture, please, while I can stand. A few hashtags gotta update my Instagram. What the hell are you talking about? Stay in the car and run the place. Webb, this was my call. You weren't even gonna chase them. That's an order, Van Dyke. Stay in the fucking car and run the fucking place. Girls, girls, just fucking act so or some shit, alright? All right. Put that shit away! Did you drop something? Dude, um, officer, I'm sorry, it's just a cigarette and I'm sorry for littering, I can just put it in the bin. It's just a cigarette. Just a cigarette? Yeah, just a cigarette. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> now you smell that and tell me that's just a cigarette. There must be at least a pound of weed in here. I think I found the missing bag. Get the fuck out of the car. The fuck on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. It's personal use, man, I swear. Uh, fucking personal use. Uh, Oi, you need a search warrant to open that. What is it? What's that stuff? Personal use, eh? Dude, that's not even mine. Smithy, check the door. Kane, I want you right behind him. What about me? You'll stay important. I'm a part of this. Not anymore, you're not. 
Right, Van Dyke, you can sit this one out. I'll debrief him. <laughs> yeah, he wants to see both of us. Okay. Mm. Sir. Fine, thanks. <clears throat> sit down, Rob. So, the largest drug bust in stream in the last five years. I should be congratulating the two of you. Unfortunately, something's been brought to my attention. Rob, why did you initially refuse to chase Suspect's car last night? What? I got down here that when Clive's car sped past you last night exceeding well over twice the speed limit, you refused to chase him. I chased him, didn't I? And when you arrived at the house, you ordered Van Dyke to remain outside on her own, potentially putting her life at risk. No, I suggested... And when she was halfway through handcuffing Mosef, you barged her off and handcuffed him yourself. Why the fuck would you do that? Oh, you think she told me all this? Everything you did that mansion was caught on the police chopper cam. Smith and Kane wrote in the reports too. In the last three months, this is the third incident where you put other officers and entire operations at risk for the sake of your fucking ego. Which brings me back to the recommendation you asked me for. For the detective's job. I'm gonna recommend Danielle. What? Yeah, fucking what? My reputation is on the line, and I've been asked to recommend the best candidate for the job. Danielle's been doing an outstanding job lately. Her intuition brought down a whole drug ring overnight. And I believe she excel as a detective. Sir, I... thank you. This is fucking bullshit. Depending on your performance, I may consider you next time this opportunity arises. This meeting is over. Clive Finkelton, not only are you a danger to yourself and to those closest to you, but to the community as a whole. To let you off lightly will be to let the system down. So, I sentence you to the maximum of six years in prison, eligible for parole in four years. We spent four years in prison, sleeping with one eye open, dealing with a constant paranoia that'll drag you to the depths of hell, wondering when he's going to come after us. We know the rules. Stealing or getting caught only leads to one consequence. No doubt what Nico's got in store for us will make prison look like a fucking playground.
sixty thousand dollars plus the fifty pounds the cops seized. That's what you cost me. I bet you're wondering why you're not dead yet. Follow me, and I'll show you. Would your father died, Clive. I promised him I'd do right by you. Give you opportunities. Make sure you are right. But you're a fucking screw up. You're a liability. I've never broken this rule before, and I will never break this rule again. But I'm gonna give you guys a chance to redeem yourself. During your time away, the fucking Italians, they take over everything. I, I lose my growers, I lose my deals. I lose my pride, my soul, my purpose. Except you too, you guys. You're gonna help me take back what is mine, and we're gonna start right now. You guys! You're gonna grow for me. Ha! Ah. Roll it up, roll it up. We too high, too high. Yeah. Roll it up, roll it up. We insane, insane, insane. Yeah, it's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. Yeah, it's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. My growing pains. It's my growing pains. Yeah, I'm feeling low, yo. Smoking weed with Moyo. Ran into some shit and gotta make it up to me, yo. So, oh no, karma catching up to us soon. But right now, feet are chilling in the grow room. Lucky that my daddy hung with gangsters. But we some smoked out, not dope pranksters. Straight out the penitentiary like Scooby Doo, a mystery. Why does all this shit keep happening to me? Why we higher than plain so it's clearly deranged I'm in love with my parole officer and not ashamed Dealing greenery, out the caravan, peep the scenery I'm losing it, my mind, cause it's never where it's meant to be I'm feeling the pressure, still a brew in my hand As we light up another, take us to a distant land God damn, what the hell am I doing with my life? But I'm in love with Mary Jane because she treat me so right Roll it up, roll it up We too high, too high Roll it up, roll it up Insane, insane, insane. Yeah, it's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. Yeah, it's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. My growing pains. It's my growing pains. My my friends calling me insane, saying that I ain't the same. But they ain't dealing with these growing pains. So leave a message at the town. Don't you know nobody home? We high, twisted off some wicked counts. My friends calling me insane, saying that I ain't the same. But they ain't dealing with these growing pains. So leave a message at the town. Don't you know nobody home? We high, twisted off some wicked yeah, it's counts. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. Yeah, it's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. It's my growing pains. My growing pains. It's my growing pains. My. Yeah. Grant, Kempsey, pass that shit.